Hello everyone, in this video I'll be doing a demonstration on how to check the spark on a small engine. A uh, small engine covers various items such as uh, uh, weeders, lawn mowers, lawn tractors, snow blowers, and rotor tillers. Uh, now there are small engines that come with a, a different number of cylinders. Uh, some can be uh, uh, one cylinder, two cylinder, and four cylinder. It depends on the size of the motor it's equipped with. Now I've already removed the spark plug here. Uh, from the engine itself. Now you want to remember that uh, counterclockwise is to loosen and clockwise is to tighten. Uh, you don't want to strip the, the threads in the head here because you end up getting yourself into more work. Uh, so what you want to do is remove the spark plug and then uh, put it back in the boot here. And you can use the existing spark plug. Now I also have a special tool you can purchase too at uh, a local auto parts store and such. Uh, what this is, is basically you can use the same boot to put just slide it on top of the uh, this plug here and uh, you actually use this crimp connection here and just ground it out on uh, on a spot on the engine itself uh, such as the head here and and uh, then you can see from the inside here that the uh, spark will actually jump from the electrode here all the way to the outside and ground out on the casing but I'll be using the plug in this video uh, now what you want to do is you want to make sure that your uh, key is on if it does have a uh, kill switch on it uh, you want to make sure that it's not grounding out so it prevents it from starting. Uh, you don't have to worry about disconnecting uh, any fuel lines or anything like that because uh, under vacuum the engine does suck in the fuel from the carburetor itself uh, so you don't actually have to worry because you ha have an exposed hole here it'll just be sucking air from the outside. Now also make note make sure you don't get, drop anything inside there either because it will go into the cylinder head and then it can cause damage. And what you want to do is you want to actually set up your spark plug like so now you will need two hands to do this and you actually want to ground out this uh, the tab on the bottom here uh, to ensure that it uh, actually gets the proper contact and what you'll watch for is a spark that jumps between the electrode and the tab itself, the grounding tab itself there. Now the possibilities can be that it can be, a, if it's a good spark it'll be blue, if it's a yellow spark then um, possibly your plug needs changing or there could be some other issue. Uh, and it's uh, it's not actually the greatest spark. Sometimes it will run with a uh, yellow spark, other times it won't depending on the strength, and other times it just have no spark. And once you've got it grounded out here, now it's kind of hard to show with one hand here, I'll do this uh, just in a minute here. Uh, what you want to do is actually pull the engine over itself, and uh, you're going to have to pull it over quick enough as you were if you were starting the engine, and you'll watch for a spark jump between the gap there. Now on the video here it is a little, it will be a little harder to see, but uh, when you're in person here you can actually uh, see it somewhat better. Uh, sometimes you might have to cup your hand around the end of the plug just to uh, just to see the spark, but uh, be sure never to touch this because uh, you will get a shock from it uh, with the uh, when it's producing uh, power. Now, as you saw in the video, there it's a little hard to see uh, with the spark. It's a lot easier to see in person, uh, but it does have tendency to be uh, between. Uh, sometimes yellow, sometimes a blue spark. Uh, now it depends obviously how well I'm grounding out on the tab itself here. Uh, for now for diagnosing uh, what the possibilities of a bad or no spark could be, uh, they can be various options depending on the age of your motor. Uh, sometimes it can just be the kill switch, it's just a bad ground the kill switch which is always grounding out, uh, therefore uh, preventing a spark. Uh, on the older style motors which was a point, uh, point ignition system, uh, what happens is the uh, the points can wear out, they can need to be replaced, uh, they could also need to be set up properly, or uh, they can get dirty over time, so you actually have to just clean the contacts on there. Uh, now moving on with the newer style motors, what the issues are with that is that it actually has a coil uh, ignition system instead. Now these coil ignition systems, they can wear out over time, uh, sometimes they can, casing can leak moisture gets in them, so they just wear out and they need to be replaced. Uh, sometimes the coil themselves, the contacts it makes um, where the uh, where the flywheel is, they need to be cleaned. Now on the flywheel itself, uh, the magnets could be wore out or they also need to be cleaned. Now moving on to your spark plug wire, some of them can be replaced, other models they can't. So sometimes you just need to replace the wire or if it's the wire that's broken, the whole unit has to be replaced. Uh, I've had some cases where before you can actually replace the boot itself and uh, then you'll be fine with that. And for the last part, now you'll have to watch for your spark plugs. Uh, sometimes the spark plugs just wear out over time, they need to be replaced. Um, say if your engine wasn't running on the right mixture, uh, the plugs could be fouled up a little bit, so they just need to be cleaned. Um, 
as with gapping, uh, manufacturers normally already have them preset, so you don't normally have to check them anymore. But it always doesn't hurt just to double check just to ensure it's the right, uh, it's uh, meets factory specs. Now that's it for my video. If you have any comments or questions, please don't hesitate to post them. Thank you for watching.